When I think of South Africa, so many powerful images go through my mind. Mandela, Marion Makiba, one of my mother's favorite singers, and her click song. <laughs> A country of 11 official languages, apartheid, the cradle of humanity, World Cup 2010, joy, sorrow, and so much more. Of all the places that have chosen us for a journey, Johannesburg would be the most amazing of them all. I knew it would be a great learning experience for the boys and me. I knew we would be out of our comfort zone in South Africa. I knew we would grow in South Africa. I knew we would love South Africa. So off we went. I've been quietly planning this trip to Johannesburg for about three months. Two weeks before leaving Atlanta, everything was perfect. However, the morning of our flight, it all fell apart. We were forced to change our housing accommodations and in turn forced to push back the flight by two days. I began a mad search for a place for us to stay. After four separate no's from various bed and breakfasts who don't accept children, I finally received a yes from the To Be Happy Backpackers Lodge. The reviews were great, only $40 a night, and they would even pick us up from the airport. In travel, as in life, it only takes one yes. After a 14 hour flight and a 20 minute drive to To Be Happy, we were so pleased to see that our cottage was so comfy. We had a beautiful bedroom and bathroom and a kitchen to cook in. Immediately, it felt just like home, saying, please give our guests a tour. Oh, this is me in South Africa. First, I want to show you is the bathroom. The toilet's a lot of control here, it's over there. Bathtub, there's no shower. So, here's our beds. Here's the kitchen. Hi. Here's my brother. Okay. Bye.